بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم صلی علی محمد وعلا علی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ فرس اول ایو لائک تو کنگریجلیٹ ایو بیڈی فو دی بلیسد نائٹ دیت ہاز کم اپن اس تو نائٹ and for uh, Eid al-Fitr, which is tomorrow. Um, before I speak about the day of uh, Eid al-Fitr, um, I'd like to say one or two things about the night that um, precedes it. What we should do in everything that we are involved in is try to achieve, according to the Sunnah of Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, moderation. Um, I can appreciate that we have to go to uh, the market for shopping I can appreciate that we have to buy things from the market for preparation for Eid, um, you know, gifts for uh, family, for children and all sorts of things. I will not say to you that on this blessed night which precedes the day of Eid, we should not go to the markets. Do go to the markets, but bear in mind uh, the Islamic ethics and teachings when it comes to the conduct in terms of how we behave in these markets, especially for the youngsters. There's a lot that goes on in our, in our society that is condemnable. So we should try to refrain from it, especially considering the month that we have spent in terms of refraining for all things that are displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's continue that spirit throughout this night as well, which precedes uh, the day of Eid. Um, and I will also say one more thing to you. Uh, whilst it is important to prepare for the day of Eid, it is important to go to the market, it is important to meet family relatives, it is important to be joyous on this evening. But the most important thing for this evening that precedes Eid is the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that whoever with the pure intention to achieve proximity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to gain his contentment. Whoever worships on this night of Laylatul Jaiza, uh, whoever worships on this night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless him with a living heart on the day when all hearts will be dead. And that's the day of judgment. That the Abdullah bin Umar ta'ala anhu said that whoever prays to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whatever he prays to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant it to him, will bless him with it. With regards to the day of Eid, uh, there's a, um, a tradition within Abu Dawud uh, narrated by Hazrat Ans bin Malik ta'ala anhu that Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa when he arrived in Medina, Tul Munawwara, uh, he met the people there and they used to celebrate two days on which they would play and, and, and be joyful. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked them, what, is, what, what, what are these days? And those people said to Nabi Khadim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we uh, celebrate these days uh, from the Jahaliya days, from the days gone before. Uh, and we play and are joyful on these days. And Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to them, uh, Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with better days, Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr. So Eid al-Fitr uh, is an incredibly blessed day. Um, and as we all know, it is a day of joy. It is a day to collect our remuneration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is to collect, collect our rewards for Allah subhan from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the month of Ramadan that we have spent in remembering him and doing all the things that are pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another important point that I'd like to put to you is that we do good deeds within this month uh, of Ramadan. Uh, we pray, we recite the Quran. These good deeds should become our habit and we should continue this throughout the year. Ramadan is just preparation. Nabi Qaim sallallahu alayhi wa said that whoever after the, uh, uh, the, the, the month of Ramadan, fasting the month of Ramadan, whoever fasts six days of Shawal, he fasts, his fasting is the equivalent of a whole year's of fasting. This is, this is a great reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For the day of Eve, I will say this to you, wake up before Fajr, inshallah. Pray Fajr in congregation in your mosque, then go back home and eat something sweet. And then uh, put new clothes on put some beautiful scent on and go to the mosque to pray your Eid Salah. And when you are going to the mosque for your Eid, Eid Namaz, uh, try to give more Sadqa than you normally would. Try to be more generous than you normally would. Sadaqat al-Fitr is obligatory for everybody who is able to afford it. Give it to the 
poor. Give it to those who are living in poverty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests some people with wealth and He tests other with poverty. And this month of Ramadan in which we fast and therefore we suffer the pains of hung, pangs of hunger, we should appreciate and empathize with those who are involuntarily hungry throughout the year. Those are the poor people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing. Places like Darbar Ghosay Yegana and um, Khanqaz, Zaviyas, Darbars of Awliya, Kamil Awliya, the saints of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't just provide uh, feasts and iftari just during the Ram month of Ramadan. They provide food for the poor throughout the year. I would encourage all of you to inshallah try to do that in your own neighborhood as much as you can. Provide for your poor neighbor. Provide for him or her, first of all, food and water so they don't go to sleep hungry. And then help them uh, uh, to be able to earn their own money, to make their own living. There's a Chinese saying, feed fish to a man and feed him for a day. Teach him how to fish and feed him for life. So once you've fed your uh, poor uh, and, and needy neighbors, uh, then try to educate their children, uh, educate them with skill sets so they can then go out and make, make a living for themselves and they are no longer dependent on anybody. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all uh, on this blessed day that is, is coming to us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give us a tawfiq uh, to carry this spirit of ibadah, spirit of generosity, uh, spirit of pursuing the path, the righteous path which leads to the proximity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not just in Ramadan but throughout the year. Inshallah ta'ala uh, I will pray for you. Please I would request you all to pray for me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.